So, hello and welcome back. Now, um, what we're doing today is the lawnmower. Now, I bought this a few months ago and I, I, I did cut the lawn a few times in it, so it does work all right. Um, but now we're gonna actually start to paint it up and do it up a bit. Um, so, it is in the middle of lockdown, so I'm not sure if I can get the paint, because I'm not sure if the paint shop's open, because I've been online um, and the paint doesn't seem the right colors. So let me show you what I mean. So, here we go, the Suffolk Colt. Right, now, I had to replace the tap because, um, well, it broke, and it had a plastic tap on originally, uh, but it fell apart. It, it broke off here, actually. I think it'd gone brittle. Um, someone said you can get a brass tap, but I, I haven't found one of those that fits this anyway. All I've found is this plastic one. Um, so, uh, like I say, it's not actually bad nick, really, for its age. I mean, I've had a look in the bearings and all that in, under this cover, and I mean, they seem quite good, actually. Uh, so, what we're going to do um, is, like I say, we're going to take it apart and paint it. Um, now, the issue I've found online, you can buy the, the green, and you can buy this red, but you can't buy this orange. Now, um, for some reason, online, they're saying that this is red. Well, this is definitely not red. Look, it's more the color of the cement mixer. This is orange, this is orange, and only the blade, and this, I don't know what they call this, but this piece here is red. So, um, what I'm thinking of doing is, taking something off here that's got a good bit of paint, probably, probably underneath here, or underneath the petrol tank, um, take this piece off, and probably this green cover, and I'm gonna walk in the paint shop and have three tins of spray paint made. Um, I don't think I'm gonna paint up the air compressor. I think we're gonna do it actually with spray cans. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit, you know, if someone knows where you can get this orange color from, let me know. But like I say, every time I look online, all you can find is the red and the green. You can't find the orange. Also, this engine block is like a, it's like a gray color. Um, I don't know if you can see. See that? Let me go around either side and let's have a proper. There you go. It's like a grey colour. Um, the I can't find this colour anywhere either. So I don't know if this is just a, a, a random grey. If anyone knows where I can get this colour from, or a very similar colour, um, it'd be very good. So what we're going to like to say, we're going to take this piece off, the petrol tank off, and we might take this piece out here, whatever you call it, um, and yeah, and hopefully get some paint made. Whether the paint shop is open. That's another story. Um, I wouldn't like to say at the moment in lockdown. So uh, yeah. And these rollers, what I've decided I'm gonna do with these is just give them a very light sanding, take them off, give them a light sanding, because they're not cracked or broken or anything, or rotten. They're actually quite good. I don't think this mower's done a lot of work in its life, to be honest, because it's all original paint. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give them a light sanding, and I'm gonna use some, uh, same as when I did the stationary engine, I'm gonna paint them in this color here, and then I'm going to varnish them, just to keep the water and moisture out the wood. Um, and yeah, so this is what we're going to do next, so that'll be all ready for next summer. Uh, the stickers on there, on the other hand, are, you know, I'd like to put those back on. So what I've done is, so I've got these. Now these are not um, like the originals. The originals are like uh, water transfers, like you get on Airfix models. Um, same as... Uh, these, I think, you know, you, you get them really uh, wet and then you stick them on. They peel off the paper and you stick them on. These are, are just like sort of stickers. Now, these actually came from Australia, would you believe? Um, <laughs> but as you can see, they're really quite good, quite a good match, you know. And the same sort of size. Some of the ones I saw online weren't quite as good as this. And these are only like uh, eight pounds with the postage from Australia. So I did pick them up quite quick. Um, but yeah, for some reason for parts for this, it doesn't seem, it's not like the stationary engine. You seem to be able to get nearly everything for the list of D. The Petter, you seem to get most of it, but not all of it. Um, I don't know whether I'm looking in the wrong places or what, but um, this, yeah, you seem to be able to get some of the paint, and then, but it's not right. And I think if I do this red, the same as this, it might look all right, but it's not, it's not original looking, is it? I wanted to do it sort of how it is now. So, if anyone on here knows, um, like a Suffolk Colt, you know, uh, 
parts place online. If you could let me know, that'd be great, and leave it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't seem to find anywhere that just sort of does these sort of lawnmowers, and, and the ones that I do find don't seem to have, I don't know, it doesn't seem correct. Like, like I say, the paint colour for a start. Um, and I don't really want to do it completely different. I'd like to do it original. Because um, this is, like I say, quite a nice lawnmower. Now, the thing you need to know with this lawnmower, we're not taking the engine apart itself. We're going to take it apart to paint it, but we're not going to rebuild the engine because there isn't actually anything wrong with it. Uh, it could do with an oil change um, and a degrease, which I've already degreased it once. Uh, you can see it's a lot better now than it used to be. If you see the previous videos, you'll see what I mean. It was caked. Um, but, yeah, so like I say, if anyone knows a place I can go and get proper parts for this, that'd be good and you can leave that in the comments so like i say today all we're going to do is take them cup that cover off the fuel tank off and possibly that piece there i don't know what that's called like i say um and then we're going to see if we can get some paint for it before i actually start on it too much because i'm going to take it apart like i've moved this bench the bench is here now oh let me show you this is actually uh i think it's my sister's um old desk out of a bedroom but that used to be where the lister d is so I thought if I put this here, you can get sort of all around it then. It's a bit easier. But yeah, we're gonna take it, some of it apart and try and get the paint before we do anything. Um, but like I say, this is lockdown two, so I'm not quite sure how you can, because I was hoping originally just to order the paint like I did for the stationary engines, just order it and it turn up and you don't have to go out and get anything. Um, but we're gonna see what we can do. Because like I say, I just cannot seem to find the correct some of the correct colours. Well, if I'm going to have to get the orange made, I might as well get the rest of it made and have it exactly the same, you know. It's because I've got to go there anyway. Um, but yeah, so if like I say, anyone knows anything, let me know. So, just a little update uh, on the state of the engines. Uh, they're both still really nice. Um, now, I did have a couple of problems with this one, um, which I haven't mentioned recently. So let's, anyway, I'll start with this one. This one here, I've not really had any problems with it. Apart from I did have to make, I realised there was a gasket missing and I made one, um, sort of, well made two actually, because well, the other one was past it. Um, so it does run actually a little bit better now. Um, this one on the other hand, uh, I put a new spark plug in it uh, when I got it. And um, I'll be honest with you, I only got, it, it, it cracked inside and it, broke quite quick and it was a brand new champion so I don't know why so I had to buy another one also I have put a new HT lead on with a nice uh, proper hang on a minute oh where are we there we are with a nice end on um, but yeah that still runs very nice the only issue with this is I did put a new fuel tap on uh, the fuel tap I had was this one this was the one it come with now it has a piece of cork in it. Now I've replaced the cork in this four times and it just disintegrates and all the bits go into the carburetor and then it doesn't do any good. Plus the, the, there should be like a little bit of wire mesh that goes on the top and if you look at that, that somebody's actually cut it off. Um, so anyway, I went on eBay and bought a second hand tap and I actually bought one exactly the same as this. So let me just show you. So I bought one like that, a proper Lister D one. It cost me about 15 pounds second hand um, it's not very good, but I don't know if that's a bit better. But unfortunately, when I bought this tap, um, it, it was second hand, but they did, the guy said it was good, and it, it's not. Basically, I can turn the petrol off now, um, because it's just a swivel tap instead of a cork. Um, but unfortunately, it leaks everywhere, so if you put petrol in it, it just drips out, uh, it, just drip, it just leaks through and drips out, so... I've wasted 15 quid really. I'm gonna to have to go and get proper a new one. I think um, But apart from that, that's the only problems I've had with it really. I mean, um, it never it's been in here I don't know about three months and I hadn't touched it and then I put some petrol and it went straight away So I am gonna to have to get a new tap for that. But apart from that. Yeah, they're quite good I'm actually in the market for another stationary engine. I, I do keep having a look around, but I'd like a different one um, I did see a list of D not far away from here, but um, I'll be honest, we've already got one, I've done one, so I thought I fancied doing a different one, but some of them are like a lot of money, you know, <laughs> they're a lot of money before you start, you know, I sort of pay like £100 maximum really for them, uh, and then like to do a bit of work, you know, but some of them are like £400 before you start on it, uh, so yeah, if we do get another one, I will do another restoration sort of job on one, and paint one up and all that, 
Um, but we'll, like I say, I'm in the market for one, yeah? So if you know of one in, like, sort of South Lincolnshire, North Cambridgeshire sort of area, you know, let me know. It's nice to say, you can see the sticker's gone really bad on this side. Um, but in here, the bearings and all that are actually really good. I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't think this lawnmower's done a lot of work in its life, um, which is quite good. And I didn't pay a lot for it. I think I only paid about 20, 20 pounds, I think, for it. And I mean, this lawnmower I keep going on for another 30 years, probably, you know, 40 years. So there we go. So it's quite clean in there. Well, clean for a lawnmower, shall we say. So I've removed the petrol tank. And you can see this is definitely orange. This is no question about it. That's red and that is orange. So why, why you can't get this orange, I don't really understand. Um, but underneath the tank, look at that. Look how good that orange is. So um, hopefully I should be able to get that matched. Or very uh, close match, if anything. Um, so that's a good thing. So there's two of the parts. And of course this green here is quite good. So I should be able to get a good match off this as well. You can see it's faded slightly. But I'm not bothered if it's slightly, you know, different shade. As long as it's very similar, if you know what I mean. Um, so I've never taken one of these off in my life. I don't know if you just didn't do this and it comes out. I don't know. So let's find out. Well, literally I undone them too and it comes straight out. So that's nice and easy. Look, because there's actually a mark where it was. So um, when I put it back, I'll just make sure that I don't uh, rub it down just on top. <laughs> just because when I put this back together again, it's still going to be technically winter or very, very early spring. And um, we're not going to be able to test it straight away because the lawn is going to be extremely wet. Um, but yeah, that's good. So at least I can get that colour matched as well. Uh, the only colour I might just guess is this grey here. Because, I mean... You're not gonna, I don't think you're going to get a colour match off that. I think you're just going to have to take a grey and hope for the best. Though you probably would get it off there, but I'm going to have to take the whole engine in to get the, um, the colour. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. I might just sort of take a photograph of it and then uh, have a guess sort of thing, really, because it's only like a grey, and I think, to be honest, it's decoloured a bit anyway. Um, but, yeah, I've just got to make sure the paint's heat paint, obviously, because it's going to get quite warm. Uh, and yeah, this exhaust, just, even just that painted black's going to look so much better. Uh, but yeah So if you're wondering why I'm not taking the whole thing apart straight away and you know Storing it all on shelves and that it, it, it's mostly because if I don't touch it for a while Which I don't know if I'm gonna uh, Due to the, the circumstance which we're, we're all in at the moment um, I don't want to take it apart and forget how to put it back together again <laughs> All right, so what I like to do is take part of it apart do that bit then take the other part do that bit and then put the other bit back and you know so we don't forget how things went um but yeah i think i might do the rollers today though on the front um because i'm getting a bit itchy feet now and i think i can't resist really but uh yeah they look really nice and it's just i'm actually surprised the rollers on the front are in such good condition because uh, a few of these old mowers you see on there they've rotted off because people leave because these are old mowers yeah they're not really worth anything and people just dump them outside in the garden and they deteriorate they rot away eventually uh, and the new ones have plastic uh, little wheels on the front or roller wheels or whatever you call them so um yeah we might do that bit today and then we'll have to i have to ring the paint shop and see if i can get some paint done and then we can start put doing it yeah straight away i don't believe that's the right bolt at all in fact that looks like an exhaust stud um because it doesn't really fit either someone sort of jammed it in uh this looks like the original one um whether it is or not i don't know but i'd say that's more likely the original one so I'm gonna have to try and get a proper one. Um, I might have one lying around in a box that I can sort of cut to length or, or alter or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's definitely not, uh, I'm not gonna put that back on. That's a definite waste of time. So as you can see, these are actually in fantastic condition. Um, so these are gonna clean up really nice. I'm just gonna give them a light rubbing over just to smooth them off before I put something on them. Um, I'm gonna actually do them in saddling light oak because that that should give a similar sort of color i thought but there you go um and then we're going to varnish them afterwards it just it'll just protect them from when you you know wet grass i'm surprised i can't believe they're actually still on it and not cracked or rotted away so uh it will do them quite a lot of good i think to do that so there's a very light coat on there and that's before we've even sanded it so last time i'm going to do the same again with a bit of saddling on there just to protect it and then i'm going to varnish it just so they're all sort of the same color really um, but yeah, like I say, I could have just varnished it, I suppose. It might have looked all right, but uh, I don't know. I, I think if you just put a little bit on them, it makes them all the same colour then, when it's all put back together again. 
But this has only literally just been put on, so uh, you can see it's a bit, uh, a bit fresh here. So let me just uh, get this one done. So that's the, um, that's the rollers with a very thin coat of a, a saddle in, um, just to give it a bit of protection. Like I say, I could have just uh, varnished them really, but um, I think if you, I wanted them all the same color, to be honest. Um, it probably didn't show up on the camera, but one of them's different color to the other two. So <laughs> I thought if I'd saddled them, you know, they're all gonna be the same. Then when I varnish it, it's gonna look quite good. Um, but yeah, so uh, we've made a start anyway, that's the main thing. Um, I'm not gonna do much more today, to be honest, because I didn't start this until it was a bit late. <laughs> Let's put it this way, it was three o'clock when I started. Um, I was doing some of the bits in the morning. I washed the jag, you know, like you got to. Um, so that's nice and sparkly. Really nice shine on it now. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll bring you uh, another video very soon when I've done a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like I say, next job, I'll probably take the, uh, well, I want to get the paint, and then I'm gonna take the engine off and uh, the, the handlebars and um, probably take the blade out and then a few of the little bits and bobs that will come off. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.